We're going to go ahead and see if uh, anybody's come out uh, first and what's on the screen. So the first connected application I have here is my email, and I've got one email here, and there's nothing about Soda Green. So the next one is Twitter, and the last tweet is from uh, New York Times. So again, nothing from Soda Green. And of course, I've got my Facebook there, and the last uh, post is from my friend Bill. So nothing from Soda Green quite yet. Uh, I'm going to pretend I have to run off to the meeting or the airport. I'm going to close the lid. That's going to put the system into standby, or S3 for the uh, techies out there. And then what the Smart Connect technology is going to do is periodically wake up that system, uh, just briefly check and see if there's any updates or emails, and then put it back to sleep. And uh, so when I come back here and open it up, I'll have everything. Uh, I won't have to wait because I know I'm going to have to jump on those tickets if they come out. So we're going to let that sleep for a second. I'm going to go to the second technology we have. This is the Intel Rapid Start technology. And the best way to show that is uh, I have it already booted. I'm going to play my favorite uh, scene from that clip that we were just watching. I'm going to hit the power button, but the power button is actually tied to putting this into hibernate mode. So the Intel Rapid Start technology is actually taking the system state and the application state and writing it to a dedicated flash drive on the system, and then just takes a couple seconds to put it into hibernate mode. But once it's in hibernate mode, it uses no power. Okay. I didn't say little power. And some people might not believe that it's using no power. So I'm actually going to do a bit of risk taking here. Pull the battery up. Look, no wires. I'm going to put it back in. And if I was in any other mode, power saving mode, I'd have to reboot the system from the, the, the beginning. So uh, rapid start technology takes about five seconds to come out of hibernate, and um, boom, it came wow. right back up. It actually Amazing. started playing the video right where my favorite scene is. So uh, one more note about hibernate mode is that it, um, it's something that exists on our PCs today, uh, but it's something that it takes a little bit longer than most users want to resume. So they typically use the S3 uh, standby state, but there's a big difference in battery life. Uh, with the S3 resume, it's about two to five days of battery. Right. And then with Hibernate, we get up to 30 days of battery. Wow. So it's a, a big difference between the two. So let's come back to our uh, Smart Connect. And as soon as I open up, you can see, boom, I've got uh, three emails waiting me, telling me uh, I better get on some Soda Green tickets. I've got uh, my got five new tweets that are telling me I've got one Soda Green tickets. All right here, and then over on Facebook, I have somebody emailing and said, I better jump on these tickets. So uh, even though it was asleep, it was actually able to keep everything updated. So both of these technologies are coming to a Sandy Bridge system um, soon. In fact, I have one that's fresh out of the uh, factory. This is a beautiful design from a Compow, Ultra Thin and Light. And it's actually got both of these technologies uh, built in already. So. Very soon, this will hit the marketplace. Great. Excellent. Thank you.